Hey everybody! Welcome to my channel and today we're gonna look at the review of the Gainward GTX 970. Yes, I look like Santa. I thought I'm doing a review of a graphic card. Might as well do some CG stuff if you know what I mean, right? So anyway, remember that graphic card I showed you? The really, really ugly one? Yeah, that one. So let's jump right to it. Let's go. So remember that ugly graphic card I showed you in the last video? Well, it happens to be the cheapest, well not the cheapest, the second cheapest graphic card. Both of the cheapest graphic cards are actually from Gain Ward, and this is the second cheapest graphic card because it has removable fans for easy cleaning. So this is a GTX 970, basically the new series, the 9 series, and this is not the 980, it's the 970. And, uh, you know, it, it looks like... Oh my god, I cannot stress how bad it looks. So if you have an open case, don't consider this one, okay? Just don't watch, like you could watch the video, but don't buy it. So, but if you have a closed case like mine, oh man, this is amazing, and I'm gonna tell you why. Well, for one thing, right, this is like boosted, um, it's overclocked just a bit to 1,304 megahertz. Um, so that's pretty good. So we've got four gigs of GDDR, GDDR5 RAM on this. And other than that, there's nothing else that is special in this graphic card. You know, it's like the, the, it's got the DVI input, it's got three mini display ports and one mini HDMI. Not a full HDMI, a mini HDMI. So you might consider something else uh, if you want to get a graphic card like this. But for the price, I love it. I really love it. So a little background on GameWorks. So GameWorks was found in 1984, right? So the reason we all don't know about GameWorks so well is because it's actually um, a sub company under Palette Microsystem. If you've ever seen their graphic cards, they make graphic cards as well. So uh, you know they're sub company of Palette. So if you get a Palette graphic card or a GameWorks graphic card, you're essentially getting it from the same people. So moving on. All right, so here we are in Far Cry 4. And I'm just gonna show you the graphic settings I have put for this. So everything is all ultra. Um, here and go to quality settings and see that everything is basically on the highest settings. And we're gonna escape out of that. And I'm gonna show you some gameplay. Ooh, soccer ball, yeah. So as you can see, we're getting around 60 frames per second. No problemo. All right, so we can run out this clip. And we can glide down like so. Like this is a bit exciting, shall we? Yeah. Hmm, a rhino. So let's go blow up this rhino. Oh. Come on, damn it. Oh, what? You want some? You want some? Well, good. Now we can get the hide. I just need five more to make a bloody wallet. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the um, next game, Assassin's Creed. Here we are, Assassin's Creed Unity, and everything is on ultra high, soft, whatever you know, like most intensive of the option, and. We're getting higher than 30 frames per second. Not the very best of frame rates, but it is very playable. I'm actually okay with anything above 30. So, this is actually a really good frame rate for me. So, here we are, looking around. Still, we're getting 35, 34 frames per second. 
which is quite nice. Moving on to the next game, Call of Duty. So here we are, just starting out in uh, Call of Duty. All the settings are on the highest possible settings. And we're getting 60 frames per second. And why is this texture so bad? Holy crap. So, all right, I figured out how to fix that stupid texture issue. Um, so we go to video options here, advanced video option, and come down here where it says cache sun shadow maps and cache spot shadow maps. We just turn them off. Back we go. Apply these settings. I hope we don't have to watch that stupid movie again, or else I might just destroy this goddamn monitor. Finally, we have loaded. So now you can see the textures are much better. And uh, yeah, goddamn loading. So long. Whoa, what's going on? Who do I follow? So here we can see 60 frames per second. And focus, damn it. There you go. Ah, stop shaking the screen, damn it. Yeah, I'm not good at this game. Always blurring shit out. For Zion! So yeah, I think you can see that this uh, graphic card holds its own pretty darn well. Alright, so... So thanks for watching. I hope this video really, you know, helped you out. Choose what graphic card you want. And... Come back next time to figure out why Windows tablets have come so far. Alright, so I'll catch you next time.